Hey guys, it's uh, General Heat here. It's, uh, I know it's been like a hot minute since I last streamed, but uh, here I am again. Uh, so, yeah, since uh, it's been a while since my last stream, let me know if my audio settings are good, because uh, I seem to always have issues with that every now and then. But anyways, for those of you dropping in, Am I even live? I can't tell if I'm live. I think I am. Actually, yeah, I believe that's a sound I'm live. <laughs> so if you guys can uh, hear me or see me, let me know. I haven't streamed for a while, so I'm not sure if everything is working correctly. Okay, good. All right, just making sure. So yeah, for today's stream, I'll be showing you guys. We're gonna be doing a full playthrough of the Golden Eye Remaster. So I'm gonna start up right now. Let's see. It says I'm a little quiet. Um, I actually can't boost the volume up anymore. It's already at. It's already at maximum according to this. I'll just talk louder if I need to. Let me know the the, uh, the game volume is too loud though. I can turn that down at least. Yeah, it is that Halo guy, Fred. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Hoghead, yeah, I agree. Like, I love the Halo soundtrack and all, but the soundtrack for GoldenEye, it's like forever like burned into my head. Like I can I can just look at a picture of like GoldenEye and like the soundtrack's already playing in my head. Like I, I just know the exact soundtrack. It's like something I'll never forget. <laughs> but um Let me get the light up. Alright, so uh, yeah, I did a few missions already for um, my video the other day, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start from the beginning though, so you guys can see the full playthrough from start to finish. Now I'm just gonna be playing on the easiest difficulty though, so I can speed run this um, more or less. Otherwise, I think if I played on the hardest difficulty, one to be honest, I've actually never finished the hardest difficulty before on the uh, Nintendo 64 version, and two, it'll probably take me a while anyways. So, we're going to play on easy difficulty, just like I do on Halo. There's no shame in playing on easy difficulty. And yeah, um, to Eridonis, GoldenEye was pretty much my, my first like major video game as well. I played a few games before GoldenEye, but GoldenEye was like the like childhood game for me. No doubt about that. And no, Jay-Z Denton, this is, not, this is actually not emulated, this is running on my... Uh, I modded 360, but it does work in emulators just fine from what I've been told. So if you do have a 360 emulator and you do have this game, you should be able to play it just fine. But yeah, this is basically running on Xbox 360. Oh yeah, just like a big nostalgia trip. And if you saw my video about this, like carving the general features of it, I, I have like, it's almost like a Mandela effect kind of thing for me. Um, the, uh, like I remember the graphics being like this. <laughs> I don't remember the graphics being like this. 
Like, in, in my head, this is like, the, uh, there were master graphics. This is how I always remembered uh, GoldenEye from back in the day. When it's actually, this is what it looks like originally. But yeah, re remastered graphics is a big improvement. Now, uh, as you probably just saw already, um, you can switch between classic and anniversary remastered graphics. Anniversary is Halo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can switch between graphics modes. So, uh, if at any point you guys want me to play in a certain graphics mode, like you want me to switch to classic, or you want me to switch back to anniversary, just, uh, just let me know, and I'll switch. Also, thank you, Creamy Tissue. <laughs> Big thanks there. Yo, one thing I remember about this mission is that um, I know the, the, the objective is to prevent the uh, the alarm from going off, but sometimes I'll just push the alarm on purpose <laughs> just for the heck of it. Uh, but we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Hashir, um, yeah, GoldenEye, it is a pretty old game, so, uh, at this point, I'm not sure, like, how many people, like, still remember it as well, but, to be honest, the gameplay, especially if you play on the Nintendo 64 version, it hasn't aged very well, but this remaster does a good job of improving it, especially the controls, like, like, see, I'm able to look around like this, but on the original Nintendo 64 version, there was no looking around, like like you could in Call of Duty or Halo. You could only go straight and left and right, because you only have one joystick on the N64 controller. So if you wanted to aim up or down, you had to like do this and just aim like that. And it was the worst aiming possible on a Nintendo 64 controller. But fortunately on a 360 version, they improved that. So... So that, that, that at least makes the gameplay age a little bit better, but if you play the uh, unremastered version, then it's, uh, yeah, the, the controls are so bad and have aged horribly. It's like, coming from like a modern shooter game like Halo or Call of Duty, going back to the original N64 version, oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's unpleasant really. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first level. I know, like, if you play on a higher difficulty, some more objectives, like, I'm supposed to go underground and stuff and do more stuff, but since we're playing on the easiest difficulty, we are pretty much running through this pretty quickly. So, next mission. I think, like, the world record for this is, like, a one... just a little over one hour to beat the entire game. I don't remember what difficulty, but... I don't know, let's see if we can beat it close to an hour. <laughs> I'm not expecting to do, like, a world record, but... We'll see. <laughs> And for those of you who are dropping by, um, this is the remastered version with, uh, you know, the uh, classic and remastered. I'm just gonna say anniversary graphics, because you know why not. So we got the classic and anniversary graphics modes. So if any t at any point in time you guys want to just switch to classic or um, or anniversary graphics, just let me know in the chat. And I'll switch for a bit. Also, multiplayer-wise, this was like my favorite map. I'm, actually, I'm pretty sure it's like everybody's favorite map in multiplayer. <laughs> this is like the only map, like, whenever my friends came over to play, this is the only map I would like, accept to play. All the other maps, I don't know, I just avoided most of them. But, yeah, this map for multiplayer facility was, uh, pretty much, uh, <laughs> the, like, standard map. Yeah, I guess, uh, Magsec, I guess, I guess it does count as, um, 
HD graphics, but uh, I don't know. Just because, like, it's like Halo Anniversary, you know? Halo 1 and 2 Anniversary, you, you have a button that switches between classic and anniversary <laughs> graphics. So, it, you know, it's called Anniversary Mode. I know it does, it, even compared to like modern games, it's not the greatest, but like, look at that, compared to the original graphics, it's a huge improvement. Yeah, the music on facility, I, I, I don't know, like, it, it's just, it gets stuck in my head so easily. <laughs> and, and that's why I like, I, I remember like forever. What? I failed an objective? Oh my god. Alright, sorry guys. I'm gonna quickly run through that again. I, I shot every tank. I, I could have sworn. Alright. Super quick speed run this time. I don't know how I missed the tank. I, I, I know I shot all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta restart again. Whenever that thing gets blown up, you can't finish the mission anymore. <laughs> no, uh, Max, like, you don't need to use mines. I, I've, um, I, I've done just by shooting in tanks before. Um, yeah. I, I've done it with just, with just shooting, with just regular guns. Alright, super quick speed run starts now. I'm gonna make sure that console doesn't get blown up. There we go. This is pretty crazy, as you can tell, but it, it needed to be back in the day. There you go. Objective C completed. That should be everything. Yep, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Next mission. I don't remember there being a tank on this mission though. I know someone I saw someone mention a tank on the runway. I just remember like the, like the plane, and then I just gotta like run to the plane as fast as I can. I'm not careful with 
the, the airplane does get blown up. <laughs> so, yeah, see, like, they're already shooting at the airplane. Come on, come on, yes! There it goes. Super quick mission. Forty-four seconds, not bad. Uh, yeah, stop motion. I guess you could call this a speed run. It's um, I mean, like, I'm not like a professional GoldenEye speedrunner, but I can uh, I remember enough that I could go pretty quickly. Although, actually, I don't. After this mission, I pretty much don't remember much anymore. But I'm sure I'll remember pretty quickly. I hope. Also, Fred Spartan, thanks for dropping by. Have a good night, man. And Isaac, I use an Xbox 360 to play this. Actually, wait, what are my objectives on this mission? Uh, okay, easy enough. I think. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, so I need to power down the dish. So I imagine power should be somewhere around here. Easy difficulty, this should be like a pretty quick speed run. Um, what is the best speed run I can remember? I've seen a lot of crazy speed runs on Halo. Um, so, I guess I, some Halo speed run out there is probably like the craziest. Uh oh, I'm kind of lost right now. I don't remember exactly what the ventilation shaft is. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Jose Barrera. The, uh, these are old graphics on this mission. See that big, big difference. Oh gosh, where's that ventilation shaft? I, I know it's like somewhere out here, I just don't remember where. Maybe I'll remember better by sticking classic graphics. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, now we can go back to anniversary graphics. Julian, this was a remaster for the um, the Xbox 360. For Xbox Live Arcade, to be more exact, but same thing. Okay, wait. I did not read my objectives again. Uh... I will not remember how um, 
what to do. So, yeah. Set to uh, do some good old fashioned exploring on this mission. Oh, I've already been there. This is like one of those Halo CE maze maps. <laughs> I'm like getting kind of lost. Yeah. Back to the beginning. Hey, do we have Hey, it's Boris. Is he invincible? Version. These missions are only so short because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, so I have less objectives. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically speed running it. But this mission I don't remember as well, so I'm kind of, you know, just playing as I go. Okay, I don't have paintball mode unlocked yet. <laughs> Am I supposed to kill this guy? I don't remember. So confused at what to do right now. Uh... Oh wait, camera. Okay, that's one objective complete. golden eye key and leave. How do I do that? Oh wait, it's gotta be. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. That explains. All right. <laughs> now we can get out of here. Oh gosh, look at those broken textures there. So this remaster, you know, it, it's only like 90% complete. There's still like a few bugs here and there, which as you just saw there. And I, I saw someone mention the music's kind of broken too. I don't remember the, I don't remember that being broken, but Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. All right, next one. Photograph satellite, minimize scientist casualties. It's gonna be a little tricky, probably. It's too bad this never got released. Yeah, it would've been really cool.
Oh my god, okay, okay, good, he's still alive. <laughs> that was an accident, I swear. Reimagining of the original GoldenEye, but it's not really GoldenEye. <laughs> I think there might have been one more, I don't remember, but yeah, there were quite a few uh, 360 GoldenEye games. Some of them are actually pretty fun, but for the most part, they were pretty much like Call of Duty clones. <laughs> like, it was just like Call of Duty with a James Bond skin on it. So, yeah, I mean, it, it works, it's fun, but. Yeah. Oh, and also, yeah, they all replaced uh, James, uh, Pierce Brosnan with Daniel Craig. They were okay games, but they, they definitely weren't like the best in the series. Yeah, I guess I am playing this on the original hardware. It, it, I am on a 360 right now. Not an emulator, but I'm told it does run perfectly fine in an emulator as well. Circle point the objective. They never had any original, I'm pretty sure. Also, I said I'm supposed to photograph something, but. Photograph satellite. Um. Is this the satellite? No, I guess not. I'm hoping I didn't like miss the satellite somehow. Oh my god, yeah, Nightfire, that was like one of my favorite uh, 007 games from way back on the original Xbox. So I, I didn't play the PS3 version, I only played the original Xbox and PC version of Nightfire. Kill the unkillable characters. Uh, I don't. Sometimes it like messes the game a little bit, but yeah. Okay. Not bad. Oh my god! Look at those classic graphics. <laughs> yeah, dude, Derpy. Uh, I I am. 
I love that James Bond movies. I pretty much grew up watching a lot of them. Um, although the newer James Bond movies with Daniel Craig, I don't know. They're they're supposedly the highest rated in the series, but I don't really. I'm not really like too thrilled about the newer ones. I mean, they're fine, but I I, I miss like the. Maybe it's because I grew up with, with that series, but I, I prefer like the Pierce Brosnan generation of um, of James Bond movies and games for that matter. Okay, wait. Once again, I was not paying attention to my objective. Um, okay. I missed it! No! No! <laughs> Wait, do I only have one? <laughs> okay, good, I have more. <laughs> no, I only had one! <laughs> no! Okay, I gotta restart. <laughs> Alright, that was... Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again and, and not accidentally... <laughs> Who carries only one tracker bug? Like, what if he, what if he dropped it? Yeah, like for real. I mean, <laughs> you should you should always carry a spare of like anything, just in case. <laughs> okay, okay, redo now. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna stand like right here and do it so I don't miss. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's just pretend I didn't miss the first time. What? Hostage ex executed. Wait. I didn't even see what the hostages were. They already. Oh, this is incomplete. <laughs> oh, I see one hostage there. I hope it doesn't penalize me for losing one hostage. And, um,. Dead beef for oh wait I know who you are. <laughs> uh yeah this does require a modded 360. Either RGH or JTAG. Or a dev kit. Or if you have an emulator, the 360 emulator, that'll do fine. Alright, that's another hostage. What? Alright, lost two hostages. Oh wait, another one escaped. Okay. Yo, this is such a confusing mission. Um. Hostages, I think. Does anyone like remember like how this mission goes? I, I'm so confused about where, where to go. Oh, okay. Wait. Ob objective complete. All right. I assume I escape by boat now. Uh, 
uh, mock motion. Um, yeah, I think most of James Wan games are like in the same continuity, but the Daniel Craig movies, they it was like a, they rebooted the series. So, um, the uh, the Daniel Craig movies, I don't think they're connected to the Pierce Brosnan movies at all. I, I know some of the characters like M were the same, but I think that's the only same thing. The, but even M got killed off like, eventually. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen that. If you haven't seen Skyfall. Alright, yeah, I guess I did it. Even though I lost like the majority of the hostages. <laughs> Alright. Next mission. Break. I'm gonna read it this time so I don't like forget. Uh, break communications linked to the bunker. Gain entry to the bunker. Okay. Sounds easy enough. And just remember, guys, if you want to see classic graphics again, let me know anytime. What's my favorite mission in GoldenEye? Um, probably either the facility mission or the very last mission where you're on that satellite dish. Those are probably my favorite. Oh, actually no, the, the tank mission, that's another fun one. I mean, HM7, I'm pretty much getting lost right now as we speak. It says to cut communications, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to go in here to cut the communications, but... This is really just a rehash of the, uh, the previous, one of the earlier missions. I do the same thing, go to the computer to cut communications and then go back down to the ventilation shaft. Can't be. Oh, the door is locked. Okay, I'm totally lost. <laughs> Somebody want to help me? <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> Wait, there's people coming out the building over there. Currently gaming. I do have COD on the DS, but I never, um, I, I, I never actually played it yet. It's just, it's still sitting in the case. Classic graphics. People requested uh, remastered graphics earlier, but see, this is back in remastered, so you can see um, looks much better now. See, classic remastered, classic remastered. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go back to remastered now. No. 
So much for speedrunning this mission. Come on, I, I remember there's like a computer somewhere that I had to mess with, I think. Why are all these buildings empty? I can't tell if I've been to these buildings before, I'm not sure the doors are closing by themselves. I think I'm going around in circles. <laughs> Alright, Eridana says there should be a guy in one of these log cabins with a key. I haven't found that person yet. I'll, I'll keep looking. I think there might be like one or two more cabins I haven't checked out yet. But at this point, I feel like I'm walking around in circles. Drop next to the dish. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. Oh my god. I remember where, where that cabin is. I gotta start over again. Wait, so what, what am, how am I supposed to, do I have like some kind of gadget to like disable the radio instead? Or am I supposed to shoot it, not activate it? Does anybody remember? I don't want to mess up again when I get to it. Okay, so I am supposed to blow it up. Alright. So I'm pretty sure it was this cabin here that had the guy in it. Yep. See, I thought I was supposed to press A on it to like disable it, so I pressed A, but I just activated it instead. So, oops. <laughs> well, at least now that I know where the key is, this time it goes a lot faster. Wait, why is someone saying use the camera? <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs>
What? Oh, whoa. Oh, that guy blew up. Uh, like my objective now is to gain entry to the bunker. So there seems to be like another entrance somewhere. Oh, uh the KF Alright, um yeah there you go. A hyena. That's what the KF7 looks like in remastered graphics. And then that's the one in classic graphics. So I walk in the front door. The question is, where is the front door? Oh, what's this? Hey, Sharp Chief. <laughs> there you are. How's it going, man? Now, where is the front door to this place I'm supposed to just walk into? Follow the road back. Okay. It's near the comm station. Okay, that's here. I'm lost. <laughs> Recover CCTV tape and escape with Natalia. Sounds simple enough. Uh. Oh, wait, yeah, there's an objective marker now. Why didn't I just use. I don't know how to activate the objective marker. <laughs> I remember this part actually. I used to mess around on, on this mission quite a bit. Oh my 
god. Fake it. I don't get Okay, there we go. There's the main control room. I thought she's supposed to be leading me. <laughs> like, like Bond even just said that, like she, she knows her way around, but but she's not leading me. She's following me, and I don't know the way to the main control room. Well, I'm pretty sure she's invincible, so I can just, I can just let her like <laughs> do whatever she wants, and I can just like hide until she says to escape. You know, this game was supposed to release on the 360. I, I don't know if it was supposed to release with Perfect Dark, but it was canceled because Microsoft couldn't work out the uh, the licensing rights with Nintendo and Activision at the time, I believe. Walked in front of me. <laughs> she, she can, she can like walk in front of all the enemies and get like lit up by them and, and be fine. But then she walks in front of me when I shoot.
Alright, so far doing much better than last time. Somewhere around here. Down here, I guess? Oh, uh, there we go, yeah. Alright, Natalia, waiting for her. Okay. Not what happened in the movie, but yeah, that's fun. Oh, I remember this mission. I think I'm close to like halfway done this mission. Oh god, this is so dark. Wait, what am I supposed to do on this? Okay, a lot of objectives on this one. I kind of remember just like running through this, but I don't exactly remember. Like I remember like Valentine, Valentine, like he just, he just like somewhere like randomly. It's so dark in remastered graphics. This mission is confusing. Ah. There he is. See, I, I, I remember, like, he's like, being in like, a crate somewhere. Hey, 
And yeah, Mr. Commander Tell, this, this has been run on my uh, RTH. But people say like it works fine in the Xenia 360 emulator, so that should be, uh, should be fine too for people who don't have a mod 360. I saw someone in the chat say to kill 006 before he finishes talking. Wait, what? I didn't even just shoot him. Oh my god. Okay, here we go again. Uh, yeah, Mr. Commander, there are still cheats in this version, but you have to unlock them by beating the campaign and, like, you know, doing certain objectives. like switch between like anniversary and classic graphics just because like makes it easier to see things all right <laughs> look at that <laughs> like classic graphics compared to anniversary it's such a huge difference it, it, like i remember like that this looks fine like back in the day but um yeah, like, it's, today it looks not so good anymore. Sharp Chef, can I dab? I could, but, eh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing, okay, yeah, so I stay near the statue. Switch back to anniversary graphics. <coughs> yeah, I don't know, Sharp Chef. Uh, what's in it for me if I dab? <laughs> Uh, you're asking a big favor there. Asking a lot, you know. Oh no, I don't, I don't remember where to go after this. Where the helicopter is. <laughs> Apparently I have three minutes to find it. 
Helicopter flight recorder. Oh my god, where where could that possibly be? Anniversary graphics. The uh, I guess the muzzles like always flashing or on, whereas in classic it's fine. How am I supposed to save her? Did they like kill her right away? Alright. There are times to charm. At least now I know the exact path. But does anybody remember how to save her? <laughs> oh God, this mission is so dark, even in remastered graphics. Sometimes I can see things better in classic, and sometimes anniversary is better. saying I should go weaponless and approach them weaponless.
Being lost again. Why can I not go around that? Uh... Wait, <laughs> I'm doing the same thing again. Wait, I can't. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, yes, okay. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I am so, uh, so confusing. Wait, no, I'm just going in the wrong direction again. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so people are saying I just gotta, um, I just can't shoot anyone, I just gotta approach them weaponless. Find out soon. I'll stick to uh, anniversary graphics for now. I think at the time it just jumps for like 10 seconds.
Okay. Now what? The last time I approached, I had my gun out and they, they just shot her. So, do I just go unarmed and just surrender to them? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Alright, well, I guess we'll give it a shot. There they are. Before I approach them. Okay, here I go. Unarmed. Oh, okay, I see. Finally. <laughs> huh, this interrogation room. Did they just leave my gun out on the table with the ammo? Very clever of them. Alright, you know what, Sharp Chap? I will dab at the end of this, at the end of the campaign. It'll be worth it then. <laughs> now the question is, I don't remember this mission at all in the slightest. So much easier in a movie. Question is, how do we actually escape? I'm pretty sure I'm more than halfway done the campaign at this point. 
I noticed like a tank section after this, uh, and then the train mission. And I think after the train mission, that's the last level. So I think only a few more levels. But of course, I haven't played for a very long time, so I could be forgetting like a few levels. Just like I'm forgetting like how to beat this mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run in circles again. Oh, shoot out a window on the top floor and jump out. Top floor. Isn't this the top floor? Oh, wait. More stairs. Wait, she says we need to talk to... Okay, no, I don't have to do that. That's probably like a objective for a higher difficulty. Well, I... I don't see what to shoot out up here. In fact, it's really dark up here. Yeah, I don't see anything up here. Oh, too high, okay. jump out. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me jump out. I, I am in the library. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, now for the tank mission. One of my favorite missions in this game. <laughs> Minimize civilian casualties. Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. I hope they improve the tank controls for the 360 controller. casualty already.
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Now is the train mission. Okay, so there's the mission to locate the train, and then after that's the train mission. And I'm pretty sure after the train mission is the final mission. I hope. that building. So it must be an important building. Locked door equals very important building. Aha! There's the train. Okay. Not bad. train mission. crates all over the train and then who, who thinks it's a good idea to have a fire fight in the middle of a bunch of explosive crates it's like the worst villains ever
<laughs> I almost got her killed again. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do here? I guess I kill Oromov, right? I guess that, that's how it is in the movie. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Escape. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, uh, Max. Like, I think, yeah, 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 there was supposed to be music. You're right. Well, actually, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> but I think I do remember what you're talking about. Okay, okay. One more mission before the last level. I forgot about this one, too. Little boss fight on this one. And then after this is the last level. Oh, no, wait, I think... No, 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 there's one more after this, and then the last level. Or maybe this. I don't remember. We'll, we'll find out. We're getting close, though. Remind me how to beat a uh, Xenia <laughs> boss fight. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do, but did, did I just like shoot her? <laughs> I'm already low on health. Now I'm kind of lost again in the jungle. Oh wait, I think this is the way. Oh, uh, well, there's Natalia. Oh, I went in a circle. Of course I did. Guys, I totally forgot <laughs> which way to go and how to kill Xenia. Like, in my memory, I remember, like, there's a path I take that takes, like, a, like a bridge. And then that's where she comes in. And at that point, I forgot how to kill her. Uh, well, I found the right way, at least. Ah, oh, 
gosh, I'm not gonna have enough health to fight Xenia at this rate. Oh, there's the bridge. And if I recall, this is where she comes in. Oh, that was easy. I, I just shoot her. For a second there, I was worried. Ah, yes, the P90. My favorite. Ah, screw that turret. Dead. <laughs> oh, grenade launcher. Oh yeah, yeah, good idea on a grenade launcher. They killed Natalia! Oh my god, I thought she was invincible. Ah. All right, so I'm seeing suggestions for, yeah, okay, grenade launcher and the P90. This time, I will be careful not to get lit up by the machine gun turrets. Basically, I just thought I'd shoot my way out. Yeah, mix things up a little. Hmm, uh... a little short on ammo. They don't have to do.
Okay. So, this part, um, you guys suggest once I'm inside, use my grenade launcher during that next part. I can do that. It's gotta stay ahead of Natalia, though, because last time she just walked into them and got killed. ladder here. Can I take this ladder up? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, this, this is the room. Why is this mission so hard? <laughs> Last room, I gotta be very careful when there's way too many enemies in there. Hey, Matthew Doll, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm glad you're liking the gameplay. I'm trying, I'm trying to get past this mission, but it's proving more difficult than I imagined. But yeah, big thanks, Matt. Or Matthew. I feel like I am playing Goldeneye for the first time. I barely remember some of these missions. Alright, here we go with Xenia again. Oh my god, she's taking all my health. I thought it was body armor somewhere around here. She just walked in front of me. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys all saw that, right? That wasn't my fault. She just... I was shooting and then she just decides to like poke her face in my line of fire. Ah, yes. Photos chaos. <laughs> You've been acknowledged. <laughs> but you guys all saw that, right? She just... I was just shooting, minding my own business, and she just decided to like, I don't know, like, photobomb me by jumping in front of my gun. 
Like quickly becoming my least favorite mission. Ooh. I wish it just like ended at the boss fight. Body armor back here. Ah, uh, my body armor has to be currently used up to use that. All right, here we go again. Hopefully Natalia doesn't walk in front of my line of fire. Yeah, the graphics may be improved, but the AI is. Uh, yeah. Gotta do some damage. Thank goodness. Barely took a scratch that time. Wait, what's my health at? Alright. Good enough. Alright, here we go, guys. <laughs> bullets there. I'm gonna be more thorough this time. Johnson's team now. Oh my god, there's still so many out there. Hey Mitchell, thanks, uh, big thanks there. Cut off Halo weapons. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, I mean, I guess you could probably mod something similar to that. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually survived that. Alright, this is where I died last time. Please be the end. Oh, thank god. No. No. I'm supposed to destroy all the turrets? No. Ugh. Dude, this mission is like so cursed. Uh, Philip, this is, uh, clearly this is Halo 3 anniversary. Wow, 
Uh, the one time I finally beat the mission, apparently you're supposed to destroy all the turrets, not run past them. I guess it leaves me no choice, but very thorough. Alright, if anyone notices like me missing a turret, just, you know, holler or something. Someone earlier said the train mission was like one of the hard, no, the tank mission was one of the hardest, but no, this is definitely one of the hardest missions. Oh, and I'm going in circles again, I think. Yeah, I know. Like, I want this level to end, but. <laughs> Then, uh, I finally beat it, but then it turns out I missed an objective, which was to destroy all the turrets, not just some of them. Yo, I can't even imagine this mission on higher difficulties. already hard enough on this one. Alright, here we go again. Look at what Natalia said, she likes this game. Oh, well, why don't you destroy all the turrets for me then? Alright, remember there was like one hidden turret up here that I decided to run past. Uh, did that turret get blown up? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, good, it did get blown up already. Now to make sure there's no other turrets out here. Take this part slow and steady, make sure I'm very thorough with all the turrets. Thank <laughs> you. 
know there's like two turrets around. Okay. Alright, that's one. It needs to be just about, that's two. It's all the Johnson's team now. Please tell me of all the turrets. Yes, I do. Okay. That took way too long, that mission. And it wasn't, it's not the last mission yet either. I think this, this has to be like the second to last mission. And yeah, uh, Philip Hanna, the, um, the P90 is also my favorite in this game. It's like the best weapon. I, I love these in multiplayer a lot. That and the laser. <clears throat> Alright, this has got to be the last, second to last mission. Anybody want to like reassure me that this mission is quick and easy? <laughs> Oh, I almost shot him. Wait, am I supposed to shoot Boris? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No idea where I'm going. I just walked to that gate. <laughs> wait, wait, let me just check my objectives. Protect Natalia, disable GoldenEye Satellite, destroy armored mainframes. Uh... Armored mainframes. I'm guessing I walked by that earlier. I'm guessing this is one? Wait, 
but I didn't fail any objective yet though. Because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, so maybe it doesn't matter on this one. Oh, I do. All right, I'll restart real quick then. Wait, so I, I just not kill Boris then? Leave him alive this time. Wait, so what am I supposed to do then? Because he's gonna keep shooting at me, isn't he? Okay, so like I'll leave him alive, but then what do I do? Probably right. <laughs> Playing Halo on easy probably did <laughs> make me too uh, complacent. Uh, nameless Observer. Yeah, it's almost complete. I'm pretty sure this is the second to last mission. I'm pretty sure. Wait, so, uh, guys, what, what do I do next then? Like, the objective says to destroy the armored mainframes, but I don't, I don't understand, like, like, where those are. Did I pass them already, or, or are they th those things I just try to shoot? I assume I go in there. <laughs> So it is these computers then. Wait, yeah, people say I'm going the right way, and then, and then now I'm saying here to use mines to destroy the computers. Is it this computer? Are, are these like the mainframes supposed to blow up with the mines? I'll get the mines out just in case. But, uh, yeah, let me let me know. Oh, wait, I don't even have mines. I can't blow them up. <laughs> Alright, I'll just keep going this way. Could 
much more body armor if there is some though. Wait, now people are saying I do hit those computers with mines. But I don't even have any mines on me. Did I miss the mine somewhere? I only have two guns on me. There are a few mines. Where? No, that, 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 um, 2023, that, that is an objective for uh, Agent Difficulty. See, it says uh, destroyed armored mainframes right there. And disable the Golden Eye satellite on top of protecting Natalia. So I, I don't know, am I like missing something? Wait, am I supposed to go back for her now? Natalia. Oh, back to the ambush of the crates. Okay. So that'll be here. Oh, I see. There's a door down here, right? No? Door is locked too. Go to the door with Natalia. Yeah, I'm trying to, but like, that's this door here. Well, she's on the other side of the room. And now that door is locked. Unless I'm speaking like a U around the entire map and then get her from the other door. See, that door is locked too. Yeah, at least there's good music. Uh, hallucination, my favorite. Wait, I just got the mines? Oh, I did, okay. Alright, <laughs> let's not miss this like I did with the helicopter on the other mission. Alright, that's one. those up for now. Hey, it works. Alright, don't... Yeah, there's nothing on this floor. I think this floor should be clear as well. So, all that's left should be this floor. I hope that doesn't matter. <laughs> I really hope I didn't need that extra mine. Let me check my 
objectives. Uh, am I missing a mainframe? Also, Hallucination, I don't know if I answered you earlier, but uh, GoldenEye is my favorite Bond movie. Um, followed by uh, The World Is Not Enough. That's another good one for me. I am definitely missing a terminal somewhere. I have four mines left. terminal back here. I mean a mainframe, whatever. Uh, okay. Well, at the very least I hope I didn't um, waste that one mine by accident. Alright, so what do I do now then? Um, all the doors are locked. Anybody remember to do next? Because I'm lost. Am I, just, am I supposed to shoot like all the computers in here or something? Nothing on this floor either. Natalia's on the second floor, so that'll be this floor. But there's no behind me. Doors will open. Go back downstairs. See, this door is locked. This door is locked too. Alright, there might be a door on the top floor, our mainframe. But when facing the RV screen, on the right side, there's a brown door. Wait, RV screen. Screen? Yeah, I know, I know the chat's really delayed. <laughs> I'm not sure why. So here's the brown door. Alright, don't shoot the computers. Wow, I said that a while ago. Yeah, some of you are really far behind. I'm not sure what's going on. Um. Big screen, second floor. Okay. So to the right, there's. Oh, I see it. There it is. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That, that just like blends in. <laughs> um. Okay. There we go. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I gotta say, th this game's easiest difficulty is harder than Halo's easiest difficulty. Oh my god! No! Uh. Alright, at least I know exactly what to do now. I know all the locations, I know the mines now. Uh. And yeah, uh, I think DJ's right. I think some people's streams are a little bit behind or out of sync. So, uh, if you notice, like, it's really, like, far behind, like, a big delay, just, uh, refresh. That should help. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Philip. Uh, Sean Connery's pretty good for, uh, Bond, but I... My favorite's still Pierce Brosnan. I just... I just like his movies the best, like... I don't know, like, I, I really love seeing, like, all the those gadgets and stuff from, like, the Pier Brosnan uh, era. But then, like, with the uh, with the Daniel Craig era, they just kind of, like, got rid of the, um, all the uh, the fancy gadgets and stuff. And I just, it just didn't uh, seem as fun anymore. But I know, like, lore-wise, that's what Bond is supposed to be, more dark and gritty. But, eh. Uh, Caboose, yes, I am on a modded 360. I don't know like which security card dropped those mines earlier because <laughs> now I can't find it anymore. Earlier I just picked up mines from somewhere randomly, but now... Uh, now I don't know where they were. I, apparently I just like walked over the mines randomly, but... Ah, there we go, I got the mines, okay. Alright, now I know exactly where they are next next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time though for this. If anyone has tips for the next part to protect Natalia, feel free to share them because I'm gonna need it. She got killed so easily last time. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to protect her.
Oh, I wasted a mine again. I really hope that one mine doesn't make a difference. Uh, DJ's right, if you want to have like a modded 360, I don't, unless you have like the experience in soldering and stuff, I don't recommend you uh, mod your own 360. It's probably just easier to buy like a pre-modded one off eBay or something. Or there's services out there where you can send your unmodded 360 to people and then they'll mod it for you. It's probably a little cheaper than just buying like a completely like pre-modded console. But, either way, you know, it's it's easier to get it from somewhere else or someone else. Alright. I'll do what Spartan says to stay near her and watch her. Are so good. Oh my god, there's so many guards now. That guard broke the glass. Oh my god. Natalia, hurry up. <laughs> Dude, this... I did it. <laughs> I actually protect her that time. I assume I go to where Boris went now. Also, sharp chap, it's <laughs> campaign's not done yet. I think. Am I supposed to go here? Now we're now I don't know where to go. I'm guessing it's one of those locked doors that are now that should now be unlocked. Okay, yep, I 
nice and right. There. He's trying to spawn kill me. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many enemies on this. Mainframes? I thought I destroyed all of them. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Where where were the other mainframes? <laughs> this is like worse than a jungle mission now. There were no other mainframes though. I thought I got all of them. There were two more. Where though? I thought I cleared. I didn't. I didn't see where they were. Now I just I just need to figure out what those last few mainframes are. I see people saying it's inside a locked door for the other mainframes.
once the tally leaves, the locked door is one lock, one is behind the glass. So I'm guessing it's this locked door here. That's the only other locked door. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I got all the ones in here, so... If anyone noticed I missed any already, holler. But other than that, uh, time to protect Natalia, and then I'll double check the mainframes after. Alright, uh, Trevor6714, thanks for the, uh, the locations. I will check that after I protect Natalia. I'm pretty sure I've gotten the ones in, in this area already. I'm out of ammo. No. Oh, she's still alive. Okay. No. What? I was right there. Oh my god. Yo, this mission. Ah. Oh. oh my god. I did everything like so perfect that time. Yo, I, I need like cheat codes for this mission. <laughs> oh my god. many enemies, like you run out of ammo so easily.
the ammo. Every bit I can get. No, yeah, th Gary, th this is like the, the library of GoldenEye. I know I still have a few more enemies to kill in the next room. Alright, so two down here by Boris, two on the floor above, one in the room to the side, and I think someone said another in that in that room that's locked behind the glass. It's so hard to aim with the crosshairs and it's using so much ammo. There we go. Alright, I've replenished my ammo. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's this door here, I presume. That's to the left of the turret room. Um, so if that's correct, just uh, let me know. I'm gonna keep going on in the meantime. Why can't there be checkpoints in this game, <laughs> like in Halo? Yeah, this is pretty much like Halo the library, but with Iron Skull on. <laughs> oh no, wait, th th this is like, um, Truth and Reconciliation. You know that part where you gotta like rescue keys, and then you gotta escape with keys, and you gotta keep protect keys the entire time? It, on Lasso, it's like a nightmare to protect keys. That's what this, is fe that's what this feels like. Should have enough ammo this time. <laughs> they broke the glass already so fast. And they got a few shots on Natalia too. Probably like one shot now.
on, Natalia. <laughs> I finally did it. Oh my god. Yes, everything complete. Oh, there's still another mission. <laughs> oh yeah, the caverns. Alright. Uh, Spartan, if you're still out there, please tell me after caverns is the final mission. All right, two levels left, okay. All right, please tell me this mission is not difficult either.
wait. Okay, that's fine. That, that wasn't the main objective. I already had to do it. ARs. No, I don't. Uh. I think that's all the boxes in the room. Oh wait. Nation. I have not played the Half-Life games actually, surprisingly. So I don't really have much of an opinion on them, but they look pretty cool to me. And uh, yeah, it's alright, guys. I don't, I don't need the, uh, the dual SMGs. Oh, wait, there's a smaller box inside one of the boxes that blew up. Uh. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Wait, it's not dual wielded. <laughs> Yeah, I got it, but it's not du it's not dual wielded. Anyways, I'll just continue the mission now. That's all right. I'm actually lost now. I don't know where to go. I thought this is the way, but now I'm going in circles again. I mean, I, I guess I'll quickly go back and check the other one if it's still there, but I'm actually kind of lost now.
Go big door. Oh, there's a second computer screen. Hey, there we go. All right, but yeah, where, where is this big door you speak of? Oh, before. See, there's a door here, but it's locked. Before, uh, where's the big door before? Backtracking. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything going back down. There must have been another set of big doors somewhere. Um, uh, unless, unless I can't open that door because I failed the radio thing and I wasn't supposed to. There should be another way around. Um, Wait, it's because I blew up the radio. Like, I, I failed that objective, even though it's, um... is the way all these like corridors look the same <laughs> well I am going in circles again all right, all right find the elevator okay and uh yeah DJ <laughs> Glad to hear like you're enjoying it for your first time. <laughs> now I just need to find the elevator. All right, must be one of these doors then. Come on, this has to be it. Alright Sharp Chief, last level. <laughs> Whew, this is it. One final effort is all that remains. Whoa, that looks nice and remastered. Wow, look at that. 
Look at that. There's like no skybox in the original. See, so like in classic, this is what classic looks like. And then remastered. Oh my god, it looks so much better in remastered. Gavin, here, this is what classic looks like. Yeah, see, cla classic that's like missing like a lot of stuff. Yeah, DJ, there's a button. Uh, it, it's just one button to switch between Classic and Remastered. It's just like Halo. Halo 1 and 2 Anniversary. I think the remaster was supposed to be released like in 2008, 2009-ish, but it got cancelled. Oh no! Uh. Yeah, I took a little too much damage going into that. Domino says they applied some filtering. I, I can't I can't really tell, I don't remember, so I'm not sure, but this is what classic looks like. Uh, maybe it was a little different on the actual original game.
There we go. <laughs> oh no, I, I, Phenomenal, I saw your message too late. <laughs> I didn't slap him, I had to shoot him instead. <laughs> and uh, Barnex, I'm actually playing on the just agent difficulty. Easiest difficulty. Ooh, I locked a new cheat. Oh, but yeah, I finally did it. Oh my god. That only took what? Three hours? <laughs> yeah, a little over three hours to do. <laughs> Next up, I'll, I'll use like gadgets on me on him or whatever. <laughs> All right, one last look at classic and uh, anniversary graphics. See, classic, anniversary, classic, anniversary. Yes, sharp Jeff, I can uh, I can dab now. <laughs> After uh, you sticking around for the stream, you've earned it, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, here you go, Dad. Alright, no more. <laughs> That's all the dabbing you'll get from me. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, overall, the game's not that difficult. There's just, like, a few missions that were, like, oh my god. I have to, like, keep repeating over and over again. Ugh. <sighs> I'll let the credits run. Should be interesting to see. I, I saw like Microsoft credits there for a second. Not surprising. characters in the game. Some of the original models look terrible. <laughs> oh, uh, phenomenal. I, I, I missed that. Bring back GE. I never even saw that. But that's, that's pretty cool. Good catch. Now technically there's two bonus missions, but I'm pretty sure I gotta beat the game on a higher difficulty to unlock the bonus missions. So, oh well. I finished the main quest, that's all that's important. <laughs> Let's see how cheats I unlocked. Ah, golden gun. That, that's what I like the most. Here, watch. I, I used to always like to do this with the, um, with the golden gun. I would just like the last level and just kill, uh, 006, like instantly. I'll do it like real quick for like one minute and then I'm gonna. And I'll probably call it a night at that point. Oh, wait, the cheat didn't work. Yeah, actually, I, I, I did notice that um, during my uh, playthrough the other day. Um... Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Okay, that should work. Yeah, I didn't have it set right. Wait, what? Did they fix it? I remember you used to be able to kill like, like a uh, 006, like with the golden gun. Get back here, Marine. That's an order. 
Yeah, I remember it used to be to kill him like right again, right away if we bolted that. Right? Like, they must have like changed that or something. Or maybe I'm I'm remembering wrong. Huh. Yeah, I I I you know, I vividly remember like just basically cheating the mission by using golden gun to kill him like right away beginning. I kind of like glitched the mission a bit. Eh, whatever. Alright, well, that was fun to try anyways. But yeah, there you guys have it. That is what the leaked remaster of GoldenEye 007 is like from start to finish. Minus the two bonus missions. Just because I don't have them unlocked and I would have to play on a higher difficulty, which I don't want to. Yeah, but uh, Spartan, um, I I remember like being able to use the golden PP7 to kill um, uh, 006 as well. Uh, I, um, I guess you're right. Maybe it was the actual golden gun that I, I might be remembering, not the gold uh, PP7. And uh, I am a brick. Yeah, you can switch between old and new graphics, but you, you kind of missed that. I just ended that. Ah, okay. I see. And no, Sharp Chat, this is not my first stream. I've, I've done a few. It's been a while since the last stream I did. Last stream I did was probably like several months ago. But, um, yeah, I figured I'd do another one for GoldenEye. Well, I'll play, on, I'll play around the cheat some more. Uh, on my own another time. Actually, you know what? I'll try it real quick. I will, um... I know it's gonna get caught a night, but let me try it real, real quick. And I know, uh, Brick wanted to see switching between Classic and Anniversary graphics, so I'll do that right now as well. So here's Classic. And then here's Anniversary. Big difference. Uh, I saw someone's. Uh, yeah, Juan said that um, he's invincible while he's running. So I'll try to shoot him like when he's standing still, like trying to shoot me. Oh yeah, you're right. I killed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, Juan Chavez is right. While 006 is in his running animation, he's invincible. But once he stands still to shoot at me, then that's when he's vulnerable. Apparently. Okay. Oh, that's it. And there's Classic again. And then Anniversary. <laughs> Yeah, see? Big difference. Okay, well there we go. Now we know, now now I remember like how the golden PP7 works. Alrighty. Well thank you all for dropping by the stream. Um I know uh hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the legendary <laughs> remaster of Golden Eye 07. And uh sure, chap, sharp chap, I will um <laughs> I'll dab again at the end of the next stream, if I remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys uh, thought this was pretty cool. It's a really awesome game, and you know, I, I know some people asked if I could share the link. I, I, t I technically can't. We're not really supposed to, because you know it's considered like pirated stuff. So I can't share the link. But if you guys, it shouldn't be too hard to like look for it online. It should be in a lot of places by now. So if you do find it. Uh, you don't need a modded Xbox to play, although that, that's what I'm playing on, but you don't need it. 
could always play on a, in an Xbox 360 emul emulator called Xenia. So that's a uh, that's another option. But um, yeah. So aside from that, thank you all for dropping by. And yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. So I will see you all next time. And once again, thanks. And have a good night, everybody. Or if you're on the other side of the world, have a good day. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Let me answer one quick question. Is it possible at all you'll do Halo Wars based stuff? Um, yeah, I mean, Spartan, I, I thought about doing some Halo Wars stuff eventually. I just, I'm not really sure what to do Halo Wars wise. But if I if I think of anything or if people have any like, good suggestions for Halo Wars videos, I'll, I'll do those eventually. But, alright, no more questions for tonight, that's it. Uh, so, once again, thank you everybody, and have a great day or night, wherever you are. And I will, you know, make sure to check in on our upcoming videos, and I will see you all next time. Uh, bye guys.